Hello, everybody, and welcome to my video blog. It's part of my website, uslegalwriting.com. And you can get to the blog by just typing in slash blog after the website address. You know, it used to be that if someone's head was in the clouds, that was a bad thing, but not anymore. These days, everybody's either moved to the cloud or they're packing their bags. People are shifting their office operations from the physical confines of the office to the internet, and for very good reasons. A small business owner named Gene Marks recently posted an excellent blog piece in Forum's online magazine describing why he's about to make the leap. The title of his piece is, Why I'm Moving to the Cloud, and I will link to it in the text version of this post. He relates a sad tale in which his in-house server one day stopped serving. And this had unhappy consequences for his small business. His story is far from unique. My law firm had a similar near-death experience with our in-house server about three years ago. And we've been internet-based with all of our operations ever since. Mr. Mark's piece is a good lesson because like many lawyers, he's unabashedly resistant to change. Still, he's committed to making the move. Why? Because change-averse as he is, he sees that the services on the cloud are better, less expensive, far more dependably available than those he can provide for himself in-house. They're supplied by specialists who have carved out a niche in the marketplace. They don't do anything else. As he says, the cloud-based services are, quote, maintained 24-7 by propeller heads who know what they're doing because they do it for a living and have no other life. <laughs> they make sure the servers are running the most current versions of Microsoft Windows or Linux or whatever you need to make the applications run. They make sure the databases are backed up to their other media or delivered when requested and so on. I can't tell from his piece whether Mr. Marx is a lawyer, but his message applies to solo and small firm lawyers in spades. If you haven't ditched your in-house server and migrated everything to the internet cloud, you will. It's inevitable. You might as well do it sooner, voluntarily and under control rather than later when disaster strikes. By the way, Office operations applications and data aren't the only things flourishing on the Internet. Freelance lawyers, the, the lawyer you should be hiring to do some of your legal research and writing, is waiting for you out there on the net right now. We've been out here on the cloud for a while. And if you've always done your own research and writing or you've had it done in-house, that's no reason to keep doing it that way. As you consider moving office operations to the cloud, Think about shifting some of your research and writing out here, too. My propeller hat is safely tucked away in my desk drawer, <laughs> and I do have a life outside of legal research and writing. Fiddled music, mostly, if you call that a life. But I am a specialist at what I do, and I'm far less expensive than you are. And unlike most practicing attorneys, I'm in total control of my schedule. You should think about making a cloud-based freelance attorney part of your practice for all the same reasons you should be migrating your office operations to the cloud.